Hey you guys, my name is Wintertooth100 and today I'm going to show you how to find all 10 runes so you can go play the secret cow level yourself. Please note, there are game spoilers ahead. You do need to beat the game on the easiest difficulty before the runes will appear. And of course, through the rest of this tutorial, I'm going to be taking you through each of the levels. So, well, if you haven't played it before, maybe you try to find them on your own first before you follow a tutorial. If not, follow along, we're going to go through each and every one of them. There is a secret rune in each of the main storyline areas. So you can find one in the Creeper Woods, the Soggy Swamp, Pumpkin Pastures, Cacti Canyon, Redstone Mines, all the way through to the Obsidian Pinnacle. All of these levels contain one hidden rune, and the first one we're going to try to find is the Creeper Woods. Once you have reached the end of the Creeper Woods, and you are on the Free the Villagers, you will find, way off to the left, there is a secret button hidden right here that opens up this little thing. You can click on the gold orange thing and take you to a secret room and we'll have found our very first rune. Simply click the button, activate the shrine, and then click the square that appears in the center when it does appear. After you have clicked it, you do not need to finish the level. You can simply return to camp and you'll still have gotten credit for finding the rune. Next up, we're going to go to Soggy Swamp. And you can play it under the easiest difficulty or the hardest difficulty. The rune will still be available to you. The rune in the Soggy Swamp is located right here next to the very end of the map, hidden in these mushrooms. There's a secret button, and it will open a secret door to the next rune word. In the pumpkin pastures, you're going to be looking for this pretty unique looking stone structure and hidden amongst these barrels, these crates, is the secret button, and that'll take you to the next secret rune word. The next rune word can actually be found in the Cacti Canyon and there's a secret button here behind this palm tree right next to where you find your first key, the blue key. Then the secret room opens back there. You go in, get your rune word, and we can move on to the next one. Here in the second room where you free villagers, you're going to want to go ahead and clear out the whole room just to be safe. But we're going to work our way down to the upper left hand corner or bottom left hand corner however you want to look at it and hidden within this redstone patch you'll see the button right there it should be right next to the exit after you've freed all the villagers for easy reference this was the hardest one for me to actually locate the button it's literally right by the door i'm standing on top of it right now and that's in the redstone mines in case i forgot to mention Next up, we're going to do Fiery Forge. This is perhaps the easiest one of them all to locate. You're going to first work your way through the outside part and pass into the interior of the main area. This should be fairly simple and straightforward. Now that we've made it through the main door, you'll notice this redstone monstrosity sitting here. There is, in fact, a lever on the back wall right here that will open up the secret door to our next rune word. Next up in the desert temple, when you come across the first locked gate, again in the desert temple, you'll work your way over to find the golden key. Just beyond the golden key is the entrance to our next rune word. So we're going to flip the switch so the wall drops. There's our key. We can ignore him because that's not what we're after. And on this back wall, there is another hidden switch. And it will open up access to the next rune word. Next up is the high block halls. And this one should be fairly easy to find, as it's located in the only part of the map that is outside. We're going to fight our way back into this right-hand side of the map and work our way north until we get to this back wall where there is a torch unlit here outside it is actually a secret switch and when you click on it it will open the door to our next rune word 
in the Obsidian Pinnacle, we're going to work our way until we finally head inside for the first time. And it is inside we will find our next rune word. Fight your way through here until you reach this grand hall looking room. And here, one of the books is actually a secret switch. And it will take you not to a special room with the rune word, but instead to just a normal room on the map that contains the rune word. And of course, the final rune word can be found here in town where we will actually need the runes. You'll go next to your house and use the little jump pads to work your way around the entire island and work your way back towards the front where we will find the entrance to the cathedral church looking place. This switch right here will lower the drawbridge so you don't have to walk all the way around anymore. And then in here, we'll be working our way to the very end. And once you've reached the end, once you have all of the runes, you will push the little gold button that is here instead of this little entrance that we have. All of the runes will light up and then you can enter here and on the pedestal, you will find access to the brand new location on your map called question mark question mark question mark and that'll take you to the secret cow level moo 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 thank you guys so much for watching be sure to leave a like if you like subscribe if you haven't share with your friends hit that notification bell and i will see you guys in the next one